this area I have an enlarged as to, is that right? Actually, posterior spinal artery take region from pica or from vertebral artery and then they descend on the back of, yes, spinal cord right just behind the posterior roots. Is that clear? No problem up to this? Before we really go to vertebral basilar system, let me tell you another important fact. As I told you, there are many arteries which are present here, here, here and from there the segmental arteries are going and supplying it. At least you must know three important arteries which are giving segmental branches to reinforce the blood flow into spinal arteries. Right? At least you must know three arterial systems which are giving, what are these? Segmental arteries to reinforce the blood in spinal arterial system. Right? Yes, who knows what is this first group of arteries? Yes, deep cervical arteries. Cervical, have you studied anatomy? And then the second group is intercostal arteries. Inter, yes coastal arteries in the thorax and in lumbar region these are lumbar arteries. So what I am saying that basically outside the vertebral column there are some arteries which are giving branches to the uh, right as segmental branches. These are in the neck these are deep cervical artery then you go down it is intercostal arteries then more down these are lumbar arteries. From all these arteries, segmental branches are coming to the vertebral column, entering into intervertebral foramina and then as segmental arteries, then dividing into interior and posterior radic radicular arteries and then reinforcing the interior and posterior spinal arteries. Am I clear? Now, what's the fun to know all this thing? Okay, before really I leave this, what is the most important reinforcer to the anterior spinal artery, which is, if I say you must know only one most important artery, which really brings lot of blood to the anterior spinal artery, because if that feeder is blocked, if that artery is blocked, big part of spinal cord may undergo infarction. Yes, who is going to tell me? First listen to my question again. All, there is an artery which is supplying, this is a very important, powerful, strong, high blood flow segmental artery which is coming to the spinal arteries and reinforces the blood flow. What is the most important? There was some name from there. Adam, Adam or Eve? Adam. Adam, okay. Right? What is the full name of that artery? Do you know spellings of that and from where that artery comes? That artery comes from? Of course, that is a big artery, must be coming from aorta. From the aorta, there is a direct supply, right? Usually, either it is, there is only one artery. So, either it comes from the left side or right side. Most of the human beings, it is coming from the left side entering into vertebral column. From the aorta, a very big feeder coming to the spinal arterial tree, really flush it with high blood flow right and that artery name okay that is coming from where from aorta directly in most of the cases that is uh, that is called great medullary artery of adam okay it's really it's worth remembering because it's the most important feeder great medullary artery of adam Adam and uh, I think uh, it's a very long name so you can write it like this, right? Like a doctor, <laughs> right? So you really if you want to know then I can tell you K-I-E, right? I have to consult it again and again. W-I-C-Z. Now it's up to you how you pronounce it, right? But you have to remember that there is an Adam size artery coming from aorta to reinforce the blood flow of the spinal artery. Why it is so important to know? Because out of all these feeders, especially if this major feeder is blocked, a big part of spinal cord may undergo infarction. Is that right? Now, 
Before we really leave the blood supply to spinal cord, there are two important clinical points. One point is that what is the weakest area of blood supply which level of spinal cord is the weakest area of blood supply in the territory of anterior spinal artery? Yes, what is the weakest area because look, for example, if I say this is the weakest area, here the blood flow is very, very less, let's suppose. If I say the blood flow here is less, then even if there is partial block in the artery here, the death of infarction um, spinal tissue will be at this point because this is normally under perfused. Actually there are two points which are under perfused and you must know in the supply area of anterior spinal artery there are two points which are very very delicate point because there normally in a healthy person even blood supply or blood flow through the anterior spinal artery is very very little. Right? At this point it is very little because major reinforcer is just under it. And then at this point it is very little and major reinforcer or major feeder is under it. What are these two points? Yes, who knows that? One is at the level of T4. T4 should be somewhere here. And other is at the level of L1. What does it mean? It has a clinical meaning. Clinical meaning is that if blood flow through interior spinal artery is reduced, infarction, most probable area where infarction will occur in spinal cord is at the level of T4 or at the level of L1. I hope you will remember that, right? These two areas are very, very vulnerable to infarction when there is reduced blood supply to the interior spinal artery. Am I clear? Another thing, this was about the territory of anterior spinal artery. What about the territory of posterior spinal artery? When posterior spinal artery is going down, which single most area is very, very vulnerable to reduced blood flow? Yes, who will tell me? That is at the level of T1, 2 and 3. It means posterior spinal arteries are posterior spinal arteries are having minimum blood, minimum blood flow at thoracic segment 1, 2 and 3. After that they get a powerful reinforcement and blood flow become good. Is that right? And in anterior spinal artery, the area which has least blood supply is T4 and L1. Am I clear to everyone? 